सहनावतु सहनौन सह वीकवाह तेजस्वीतमस्तुमा विषा ओ शातिशाशाति ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शातिशाशाति ओ आप्यायंगा वाणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रमथो बलमिंद्रियाणि च सर्वाणि सर्वं ब्रह्म उपनिषद माहं ब्रह्म निराकुरिया ब्रह्म निराकोदराकरणमस्वराकरण मे अस्त तदात्मनिदे यौपनिषत्सु धर्मास्ते मयि सन्तु ते मयि सन्तु ओ शातिशाशाति श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे हरिभागिने व्योमव्याप्तहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमक्षर मुद्गीत मुसीत ओमुदाय तस्ोपव्याख्यान पेज थ्री सिक्सटी वन अथ एश संप्रसाद अस्मा शरीरा सुत्थय परम ज्योतिपद्य स्वेन रूपेण अभिष्पद्य एष आत्मे हो वाच एक मृत अभयम एक ब्रह्मणो नाम सत्यम अथ एश संप्रसाद टीकाकार से विवेक आनंदम अथ शब्द पैसेज रिफर्स टू विद्वान और वाइस पर्सन दैट दिवर्सन प्रसाद कैन अप्लाई टू एवरीबडी इन एनवर्स एज अ सेट ऑफ डीप स्लीप एवरी क्रीचर एक्सपीरियंस इज अ सर्निटी एंड देवर सम्यक प्रसिद्धते एवरी वन गे अटेंस और एक्सपीरियंसेस द ग्रेट सर्निटी इन डीप स्लीप स्टेट इन दैट सेंस एवरी वन कैन बी कॉल्ड सम प्रसाद है However, here the word "sampasada" is used in the in continuation to the previous passage, where the previous passage talked about a wise person. Evam vid swargam lokam eti ahar harvai. Evam vid the knower of Brahman in this manner itself attains swarga or Brahma loka, or experiences the happiness of Brahman every day. <coughs> So the context is even with one who knows thus, one who knows the self as Brahman. <coughs> Therefore, Bhaskara said, "Var sam pasada should mean a wise person." 
अस्मा शरीरात समुत्थाय परम ज्योति उपसंपर हाउ डिड यू बिकम वाइस पर्सन अस्मा शरीरात समुत्थाय अराइजिंग फ्रॉम और डिपार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस बॉडी भाषा कर सेठ शरीर आत्म भावना परित्यज्य द डिपार्चर और अराइजिंग फ्रॉम दिस बॉडी इज नॉट टू बी टेकन इन लिटिल सेंस बिकॉज इफ द वाइस पर्सन डिपार्टेड फ्रॉम हियर परम ज्योति ही उपसंपद्य एंड रीचिंग दिस सुप्रीम लाइट द सुप्रीम लाइट इज रीच टू बी रीच मीनिंग दैट इफ दीज वर्ड्स आर टेकन लिटरली परम ज्योति ही उपसंपद्य रीचिंग दि सुप्रीम लाइट स्वेन रूपेण अभिनिष्पद्य then he accomplishes or becomes established in his own nature so three things are told here asma sharira samuthaya arising from this body param jyoti upasampadya reaching the supreme light swayam rupena avinishpadyade he becomes established in his own nature so these words or this passage lend itself to different interpretations <clears throat> that this is a description of a person who is perform upasana throughout his life and after departing from this body he literally reaches the supreme light which can be like the sun etc the meaning goes to brahma loka and then becomes established in his own nature <coughs> but bhashya kare said no swen rupena abhinishpadyate he remains established in his own nature as far as swen rupena one's own nature cannot be attained does not have to be attained one's own nature is something that is already attained so bhashyakara says this attaining or becoming or abiding in one's own nature should not be taken in a literal sense that it's a phenomenon that happens that something which is not there takes place is not to be interpreted that way because brahman is a nature of self already and here is the process of owning up his true self This is the context of upasana or meditation. So this section prescribes a meditation also, where also one can own up one's own self by constantly meditating upon esha atma by the ahankara upasana by superimpose upon one's own self the idea that I am Brahman. <coughs> so one Brahman, no doubt, satya kama. सत्य संकल्प है दिस इज उपासना मेडिटेशन अपॉन सगुण ब्रह्म रिजल्ट इज स्टेटेड हियर इज एज दो इट इज ए नॉलेज ऑफ द निर्गुण ब्रह्म सो सम कंफ्यूजन डज हैपन हियर अपेर इन पैसेज दैट वी डिस्कसिंग दैट डज नॉट सीम टू बी डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन द रिजल्ट ऑफ द मेडिटेशन मेडिटेशन इज आइडेंटिफिकेशन so identification saguna brahma that's what we mean by asmat sharira samuthaya becoming completely free from the identification of this body param jyoti upasampadya establishing constant totally the identity with param supreme light which is vignapti swabhavam the light of consciousness so establishing the identity with one's own self which is consciousness स्वेन रूपेण अभिनिष्पद्य एंड दैट वे ही बिकम्स एस्ट्राविश इन हिज ओन नेचर विच ऑफ कोर्स अगेन इज ओनली दैट सुप्रीम कॉन्शियसनेस एंड नथिंग एल्स सो दीज थ्री थिंग्स टेल द सेम थिंग अस्मा शरीर समुत्थाय डिपार्ट इज बॉडी परम ज्योति उपसंपद्य रीचिंग द सुप्रीम लाइफ 
And Svena Rupa Navini Spadyade becomes established in known nature and not saying different things, saying same thing. Then why is it said this way? So what is the reason why you say that Asma Charira Samutha arising from this body, departing this body? So Vashaka is Shariyat Bhavanam Paritya becoming free from the identification of this body. Because Etasya Abhinishpatyehe Praj, Abhinishpatyehe Praj, before reaching one's own nature, Avidya Dehameva Aparam Rupam Atmatvin Upagataha. Not knowing his true nature, he took this body to be his own self. And therefore, he was as though established in a self, it being a different self of the nature of body. And now, he becomes established in a self, which is the consciousness. In that sense, you may say some kind of process has taken place of becoming unestablished from his true, his own notion earlier, which is Brahma or the notion that I am the body and disassociating with that or dropping that notion ultimately he becomes established in his nature as consciousness. Namatta the peksha is though he was as though so aparam ru aparena rupena abhinishpadya abhinishpadna as though he was established in a different self from that now, he gets established in his true self. Not that this is a process, but from the standpoint of the person who thought that I am the body, now he sees himself as consciousness, as Brahman. So that transformation has taken place in this place, person, as a result of this upasana or meditation. So transformation is not so much in his swarupa, Transformation is in his mind, where in his mind he formally entertained the idea that I am the body. In that which was a Brahma, so it is Brahma Nivrutti. Cessation of Brahma or the delusion. So this meditation has helped him become free from that delusion and now recognizing that I am Brahman or the consciousness. <coughs> So that process is described as though it's a process. And therefore, Svena Rupena Abhinishpadyate. It is not that one becomes established in his own nature as a result of some process. One is always established in one's own nature. Because you can never be away from nature. Regardless of whatever part things that it is, and so, what is it? Lahara Dhunde and Lahara Ko. Kapada dhunde sut, jiva dhunde brahmaka. So, lehera wave is searching for nahera. And the cloth is searching for cotton. And jiva is searching for brahman. So, jiva thinks that brahman is different from himself in that sense. So far he thought he was jiva and now he sees himself as brahman. So, therefore you can say that having, having become uh, Arising from the notion of Jivatva, he is now established in the knowledge of himself as Brahman. But he is always Brahman. It is in his own mind that this change has happened, not in Swarupa. The nature of the change has not happened. <coughs> Where the change has happened is in his thinking, in his perception. Formerly the perception was, I am a Jivatma. Now the perception is, I am consciousness, I am Brahman. So this change of perception is brought about in two ways. One by Upasana, other is by the knowledge. So this is all section about Upasana. So then how does the change in perception happen by meditation? Is by deliberately entertaining this perception, I am Brahman, I am Brahman, I am Brahman. So it's a superimposition. Not that he sees himself as Brahman, but upon the Jivatvam, upon Ahankara, he constantly superimposes the idea that I am Brahman, I am Brahman. That's the 
அஹங்கிரக உபாசனா உபாசனா வேர் அஹம் தி அஹங்கார் இட் செல்ஃப் பிகம் தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஆஃப் மெடிடேஷன் இந்த பிரத்யேக உபாசனா யூ டேக் சம் சிம்பால் அண்ட் அப்பான் தேட் யூ சூப்பர் இம்போஸ்ட் ஐடியா ஆஃப் ஈஸ்வரா இஷ்ட தேவதா ஹியர் அஹங்கார் இட் செல்ஃப் இஸ் லைக் பிரத்யேகா அப்பான் விச் யூ சூப்பர் இம்போஸ் ஐடியா அண்ட் as a result by doing this for god knows how long or how many births how many lifetimes then as the upanishad says it happens that this person becomes a wise person where his notion about himself as comp- or perception about himself is completely changed and this meditation that i am brahman i am brahman i am what, what brahman அபஹத பாப்மா விஜரஹ விமத்யு விஷோக சத்தியகாம சத்தியசங்கல்ப கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி ஹேஸ் இம்பியூட் இஸ் மைண்ட் வித் திஸ் ஐடியா அண்ட் த வேர் தட் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் இம் டி ஐடென்டிஃபை பிகம் ஃப்ரீ ஃப்ரம் இஸ் நோஷன் தட் ஐ எம் பாடி ஐ எம் பாடி அண்ட் ஜீவன் தட்ஸ் ஹவு நவ் இ பிகம்ஸ் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் இன் இஸ் ட்ரூ நேச்சர் தேர் ஆல்சோ இஸ் நாட் அச்சீவ் சம்திங் நியூ He's only owning up what his true nature is. But as far as he is concerned, he has achieved something. Because what he already achieved, he did not have the benefit of that achievement, that I am Brahman, on account of ignorance. And now he has the benefit. So in that sense, you can say that realization has taken place. <coughs> now he sees, perceives, realizes himself for what he is. So, Param Jodhi Upasampadya, reaching the supreme light of consciousness and Svena Rupena Vinishpadya there becomes established in his own self are not two different things. Because Param Jodhi, the supreme light or su- light of consciousness, he is his own nature. So, whatever the other Tikakara said now, is this not repetition? Param Jyoti Upasampadya De, reaching his own nature which is Param Jyoti, which is Paramatma. And now he becomes established in his own self. He says this is repetition because reaching Paramatma is one's own self because Paramatma is a self. So it looks like Shruti is only repeating herself. Is it not Pune Rukti? So the Tigagaya said that it is not quite Punarukti from the standpoint of the Jeeva Atma. That for the Jeeva Atma, this Sveda Rupena and so on nature was different so far. Brahman was thought to be different. And now the difference goes away. So for the wise person, both the steps are one. But for the Jeeva Atma, the two steps are as though different. And therefore, for the Jeeva Atma, this is not a repetition. <coughs> This is one thing that the Tika Gara discussed. Other thing was, Mukti Kaneva Jivasya Brahmatva. So what, this passage clears up many things according to this Tika Gara. One is, it clears up the idea that the Jiva thinks that is Jiva and therefore two steps are there. <coughs> Second is, some people believe that This jiva is a jiva in the samsara dasha, when he is ignorant. And then becomes Brahman when he is enlightened. So, mukti kare ve jiva se brahmatvam, ne samsara dasha, so some people think that way. He says, no, samsara dasha in samsara dasha also, he is Brahman. And mukti kare also, he is Brahman. <coughs> That Brahman Nirakana Tattvat, that even when he, he thought he was a samsari, that is why Param Jyot, he, he was supreme consciousness even when he was a samsari. And now, so, then attains his true nature also, which is only same as consciousness or Brahman. <coughs> so, Swarupa Abhinishpakti, that a teaching supreme consciousness is the same as Swarupa Abhinishpakti as his own true nature. Meaning that he was always supreme consciousness which was his true nature. Even when he thought he was Jiva, he 
He was supreme consciousness and that he is not attained something new. So the idea that this person is not supreme consciousness when he is jiva, and now he becomes one, that idea also is refuted in this manner. Avintukasya sarupatva bhavat Because svena rupena abhinishpandite If reaching one's own nature is literal, then one's own nature is something which has been attained. What is attained cannot be one's own nature. What is attained is always different from oneself. So it cannot be svena rupena. So Upanishya svena rupena, as his own nature, he remains established. That means that it is always there. As Jiva also, he was always Brahman only. He says, no, no, svena rupena, svena rupena, you know. So that person says, nacha svashabdha svihaiti vachyam. Not his own nature, but something connected to him, svihaiti. Yad rupam prapnuti tasya svihatvasya anukti siddhatvena tadutte vayasa. The, re, the Swarupa that he gains is always his anyway. So you don't have to have his nature. Nature that is himself. So Svena Rupa is attain his nature, attain his nature that is himself. Nature that is himself, do you don't have his nature. <coughs> Therefore, Sutra Gurda, Sampadya, Avir Bhavaha, Svena Shabda And so, Svena Shabda. So we read this yesterday, Sampadya. See, this is completion of one Kriya, Sampadya. Saprakasya Swarupam Atmanam Sakshat Anubhuya. So Param Jyoti Upasampadya. Having attained this supreme life means what? Saprakasya Rupam Atmanam Sakshat Anubhuya. Look at the text. Param Jyoti Upasampadya. So the, what's, the, what's the meaning of that? Swayam Param Jyoti Svaprakasa Rupam Atmanam Upasambhati Sakshat Anubhuya. So that's what the Sutra Kana says. Param Jyoti Upasambhati means Anubhuya having experienced or realized Atmanam and so on self, which is Param Jyoti Svaprakasa Rupam Atmanam. Having experienced or realized one's own self, which is the Supreme Consciousness or the Self which is self effulgent Then what? Svena Rupena Abhinishpati. What does that mean? So, Teneva Rupena Avirbhava. Teneva Atma Rupena Avirbhava. So, Svena Rupena Bhasa Sutrakara says, Teneva Atma Rupena. Svena means Atma Rupena. So, Abhinishpadya de Avir Bhavati. He becomes manifest as his own nature. <clears throat> so, experiencing oneself as the supreme light of consciousness, self evident as the as supreme consciousness itself, he becomes, uh, you know, he, he emerges or manifests as his own nature, his own self. Therefore, the Svet Param Jyoti, the saying is Svena Rupena. That equation, Sutra can also say. So you don't do the Svena Rupena, it is his own nature. <coughs> Why do you say Svena Svena Rupena tells you Svapadasya Prakshapa? Svena Rupena, because of our Sva, therefore, two process not different. Seeing himself as a light of consciousness, then as that, he becomes manifest as his own self. <coughs> so two things are not different. <coughs> All right. So therefore the Tikagara justified Svena Rupena Abhinishpadyate becomes established as his own self. Then why do not you say that much? Why do you say Param Jyoti Upasampadya? <coughs> so you Param Jyoti Upasampadya Eti Etadabhi Padam. So what does that contribute? So Sankhya says that when you realize that Purusha Prakriti Viveka takes place, when you see yourself as the, the Chidvapu who has consciousness, 
this consciousness that is yourself. Sankhya, see the Atma as consciousness, all right. But you see all Atmas as different, different from one another. That means even, the, even when this realizes his own self, he still retains their separatedness from others. That's what Sankhya's belief. For Sankhya's, the self-realization is realization of oneself as Svena Jyot, so Swam, uh, Param Jyot, as the so, light of consciousness. But that consciousness that he is, is different from the consciousness that others are. Meaning that even after self-realization, that idea of duality does not go away according to Sankhya's. Therefore, this expression, Param Jyoti Upasampadya, you know, what does it say? Shinka Nirakaranam Atayri Natasyavi Vayarthyam so, Advitya Brahma Rupena Vasthanam Edi. <coughs> so, Param Jyoti Upasampadya. That Param Jyoti is and Sveda Rupena, they are not two different things. His own nature is consciousness. And Param Jyoti, Supreme Consciousness, Paramatma, Self of all, are not two different things. Sveda Rupena Vinishpadya, they become established in his own nature. Sankhya would say that. He becomes established in his own nature, consciousness. This passage says that consciousness also is Param Jyoti. Is Supreme Light or is Paramatma, is Self of All. Meaning that this passage says that his realization of himself as consciousness also is realization of himself as the Self of All. So then that Param Jyoti he removes that contention of the Sankhyas. <coughs> Then again, Kechitu. <coughs> now some people are, are Vedantins, but they seek to interpret this passage a little differently. There is Pathakrama and Arthakrama. Pathakrama is Param Jyotihi, Upasampadya, Svena Rupena, Abhinishpadya. So Upasampadya means having reached the Supreme Consciousness, they become established in their own nature. So they arrange this passage somewhat differently. Same meaning, but they arrange it differently. They feel that if you see the passage as we see, then you get something more in that. How? So Avinishpati. So Svena Rupena Avinishpadyate, meaning so there is Swarupa Sakshaka. Then now he realizes his own self. <coughs> then Sharira Samuttana. Tvam Padata Shodhanam. So first is Tvam Padata Shodhanam. That one looks upon oneself as Jivatma. And then Asma Sarira Samutha. Now he becomes free from the idea of Jivatma and sees himself as, as his own nature. You know. So Sarira Samuttanam Tvam Padata Tatasya Samuthaya Abhinishpadya. Abhinishpadya param jodi upasampadya de. So, thus, realizing himself that I am not the body, he realizes himself, his own self as Swarupa, and sees himself as the param jodi, he is the supreme consciousness. So, the process he describes is once, first, becoming free from the notion that I am the body, thus he recognizes true nature as being different from the body. What is the true nature? That as a result, Svena Rupena Vinishpadya. Therefore, that's how he became established in his own nature. And what is that nature? Param Jyoti Upasampadya De. That nature is the Supreme Consciousness or Paramatma. So they feel that this step of self-realization is important. Because otherwise, if you go the way the, the, the text is, that idea of self-realization does not come. That's what they feel. And therefore, that is an important thing. They realize themselves as Param Jyoti. Therefore, they, they have changed the, the sequence, you know. The Pātha has been somewhat modified to get this meaning that first he de-identifies with himself his body 
Then that's how he recognizes his own self, which is the Param Jyotihi or Supreme Consciousness. Iti Angi Krutya Tva Shrutihi So Param Avinishpadya and Upasampadya are the same thing. Realizing his own self and as Supreme Consciousness are not different, two different things. So that's how they seek to explain it, which is okay. How come Bhashyakar has not done it? You know. So some people explain it that way. How come Bhashyakar has not done it? So then this Tikakara gives the justification why Bhashyakara did not see the need to do it. Esha sam prasada it aneneva sakshakara vattvasya uktatva. So Bhashyakara clarified that Esha sam prasada he refers to a wise person. In the previous part, even with one who is realized one's so own self. Therefore, self is already included in Sampasada. Therefore, you don't have to say that he realizes himself. And therefore, Uktatvat, Puna Uktam, Ida Vipretya, Bhashyakarai, Yasashtuti, Eva Vyakyaram. So, Sakshatkaratvam is already there. Therefore, you don't have to say that again. And the Bhashyakara thought that he chose to explain. The, the, the Yartha also in the same sequence as part. Anyway, this has clarified it more, so uh, we departed with some confusion yesterday. And so, so see, get, trying to get some clarification. Now, we can continue on the page 362. <coughs> Anyetu. Now, see, this passage seems to attract a lot of attention, you know, and Anyetu. Where are we? Page 362 in the line number 28. <coughs> Anyetu Sharirat Nirgatya Aditya Mandalam Param Jyoti Shabdidam Prapya. So there are others who look upon this as a, they take it literally and say there is a journey that this, this Supasaka carries out. That, so Asma Sharira Samuthaya. Arising this body is what? Sharira Nirgatya, departing from his body. So they interpret this as a process of the Upasaka, departing from this world and reaching the world of Brahma Loka. <coughs> so they were Asma Sharira Samuthaya. Is what? Sharira Nirgatya, departing from his body. Param Jyoti Upasambadya, having reached the Param Jyoti. Aditya Mandalam. Param Jyoti Shabditam Prapya. So Jyoti or light is interpreted as Surya. So Aditya Mandalam Param Jyoti Shabditam Prapya. Attaining the orb of sun which is referred to here by Param Jyoti or Supreme Light. Because Jyoti can be anything. Then Svena Rupena Abhinishpadyate Brahma Loke Svena Rupena Abhinishpadyate <coughs> then in Brahma Loka, they become established in their own nature. <coughs> Iti Vadanti. So this interpretation given by all Vaishnava Acharyas, by the, you know, or like by, by the uh, Vishishtra Dvaita, etc., who say that the Jivatma goes to Brahma Loka. <coughs> so this interpretation came later on, after Bhashyakara. But this passage lends itself to the interpretation, understand? Asma Sarira Samuthaya is a process. So Samuthaya arising, so departing from his body. Upasampadya. Param Jyoti Upasampadya means upasam, having reached the Param Jyoti, the light, supreme light. <coughs> Svena Rupena Abhinishpadya, then they become established in their own nature. So all incomplete actions are there. Samuthaya. Upasampadya. So having completed these kriyas, finally in the finished padya, they, they become established in their own nature. So then their interpretation is quite alright. But Tadayutam, but that interpretation should also be consistent with the rest of the things that the Shruti wants to say. Whatever Upanishad wants to say here, and what Upanishad said elsewhere, every, it should be consistent. Not that you take this passage in isolation and interpret it in a certain way because it lends itself for that interpretation. 
But the interpretation we give to this passage also should be consistent with what this Upanishad says subsequently and what others Upanishad also say in this regard. So Tikagara says Tadayuktam, that interpretation, that this passage in fact describes a journey from this world to the other world. Journey was Svena Rupin Abhinishpadri for being established in one's own nature, one is to carry out journey. Going to Brahma Loka is fine. So we do accept Krama Mukti that the Upasaka or even a, even a seeker of Vedanta knowledge also, if some obstacles remain, he goes to Brahma Loka and then remains as long as Brahmaji is there and then he becomes liberated. So that Krama Mukti is accepted. But, but this is not that Krama Mukti, that's what the idea is. Because Svena Rupa and Vinishpadyate becomes established in his own nature. Now there cannot be a, a process as far as establishing in one's own nature is concerned. Vyapina Dehat Nerigamana Anupavate. Now what has this wise person realized? As a result of this meditation, he realized I am Brahman. What is Brahman? Brahman is the self all pervasive. So now that he sees himself Brahman, how can there be movement in Brahman because Vyapinaha, he sees himself as Brahman is all pervasive. If he is all pervasive, he is present everywhere. Therefore there cannot be a matter of going from one place because there is no place where he is not. So there cannot be a really journey when he sees himself as Brahman. Vyapinaha dehat nirgamana anupattehe. For the one that is all pervasive, the departure of his body is not, cannot be literally true. Also, so the reason why the Tikakara takes this up is to clarify this passage further, that's all. It will look like he is, uh, he is refuting the other opinions, which may be so, but in that process also, he gives us further clarification. So that we are very clear about what this passage seeks to convey according to Vashyakara. <coughs> what is Vashyakara's interpretation of this passage? He is clarified here. The Tikagara continues, Gati Purvatpe Sampadhyamanasya Swarupatva Anupatte. So whatever Sampadhyam, whatever you attain as a result of movement, as a result of travel or journey, cannot be yourself. So first, because what you attain cannot be yourself. You cannot attain yourself. There cannot be attainer and attained. The seeker and sought. That kind of duality within one's own self. Never even. So attaining oneself is like attaining the tenth man, attaining tenth man only. Therefore, that attainment cannot be in the literal sense. So Vedanta will fight everywhere for this interpretation. Because until then, the idea always was that I am a jiva and somehow you become Brahman. But the Vedanin says it is praptasya prapti. It is attainment of what is already attained that you are Brahman already. You don't have to become Brahman. Then being the case, attainment of Brahman cannot be attainment of something new. It cannot involve a movement. It is simply the cessation of the Brahma or the delusion about your own self is only change of perception and no other change takes place. <coughs> change takes place in perception. So, Adam took us here, Vinashetu Apate. Suppose you go to Brahma Loka also, then also you cannot be, you cannot be in your own self because the Brahma Loka also is Vinash. A Brahma Bhuna Loka. So, Brahma Loka also being part of the samsara will also come to an end at the time of pralaya or dissolution. Number one. Number two. Nutasya prana utkramandidi utkrandi pratishedat. For the wise person, it is very clearly said, Nutasya prana utkramandi. His pranas do not depart. There is something. For a wise person, the pranas remain here. They merge into Yeheva Samavaniyante. Here itself the prana or subtle body merges into Brahman. So there is no departure process for the wise person. 
Utkarandi Pradeshena, so there is no movement, there is no departure, there is no travel. Atra Brahma Samashnude, also it says, Atra Brahma Samashnude, the wise person attains the state of Brahman here itself. He sees himself as Brahman here itself. Ityadi Shruti Viroda. So if you say that after knowledge that I am Brahman, also a Gati is involved, attainment is involved, then that will contradict the very idea of what its true nature is and what the Upanishad is teaching. Jyoti Hindasanaditi Anena Sutra Jyoti Shabdasya Chaitana Vashet Tokte We saw that Sutra yesterday. Jyoti Hindasanat that Param Jyoti, that Jyoti cannot be a physical Jyoti. Not a material Jyoti such as the sun. It is Jyoti which is a light of consciousness. Sutrakara has already and Bhashyakara has already determined that. Sutra Jyoti Shandasya Chaitanya Vachitvokte That Param Jyoti Upasampadya means it is Jyoti means we are consciousness. <coughs> Then, Sampadya, Avibhava, Svena Shabda, Yatra, Svashabdasya, Svahava, Chetva, Ukte. We just saw that Sutra. Sampadya, Avibhava. Sampadya, after having realized his own self, Avibhava, he emerges as, manifests as his own nature, which is Brahman. So, realization and emerging as his own self are not two separate things. <coughs> Svashabdasya Svavavashya Tvokte Svendu Rupena means his own true nature. Not that after realizing he attained nature connected to him. After realizing he attains nature which is his own self. Dhara Vidya Phalapraptyascha Nadi Khande Vakshamanatvena So Dhara Vidya now, this is the, the result that is described here is the result of knowing oneself as Param Brahma, really. Dhara Vidya is meditation upon Saguna Brahma. Where real, so realizing yourself as Saguna Brahma involves the Yatra. And that is described subsequently here in this text. Page 376. Now that is again different. Let me see. Hmm. 381. The very last verse of this Upasana section. The Desha Sloka Shatam Jaika Tasam Murdam Abhinisruta Eka. Then in the heart there are 101 nerves or nadis departing, radiating from the heart. Of them there is one that goes vertical. And Murdanam goes up to the crown of the head. Taya Urdham Ayan Amritatameti. The Upasaka departs through that nadi and goes to Brahma Loka. So therefore, the result of the Upasana, Saguna Brahma, is described here. So, what is this, described in this passage is not result of Saguna Brahma Upasana, it is knowledge of Nirguna Brahma only. <coughs> so, coming back to our page 362, it says, Dhara Vidya Phala Praptesha Nadi Khande Vakshamanatvena. That the result of the meditation of our Saguna Brahma will be stated subsequently in that passage. Asya tad vishetu ayoga chedi. So this passage does not describe the result of the meditation of our Saguna Brahma. This passage describes the nature of the realization of one's own self. <coughs> Again, Tikagara continues. Nano. Evam Surupa Sampati Vacharam Prakruta Virodi. Now, when you dis- interpret this as the 
as realization or recognizing yourself as Brahman. But here this is all talking about, this is that context of Upasana. Prakruta Virodhi understands that the discussion began with Dharakasha. And meditation upon Brahman is Dharakasha is oneself. So that is Prakruta. So apparently Upasana or meditation is the subject, my topic here. So even Sarupa Sampati Vachan, according to you, if Sarupa Sampati does not involve Yatra, Sarupa Sampati means attainment of one's own nature does not involve Yatra. It is only seeing what you already were there, where then Prakruti Virodhi, that is the, then that means no process involved, is only removal of the, the Brahma and no process, that is your interpretation, but then that is, that contradicts what is discussed here. Jivasya Brahma Svabhavata Uttav Tattva Masyadu Viva Karatraadi Buddhi Buddhav Buddhi Bhade Upasana Anushthana Asambhavadi According to this, Jivasya Brahma Svabhavata Uttav Brahma Svabhavata That you say that Sveda Rupena, Jiva is Brahman. So you are, they say you are jumping the gun, they say, you know. That will come later. In the, in the section beginning from the seventh khanda, where there is a topic of Brahma Vidya, then Jiva Brahma Ikya will come. These first six chapter sections of Upasana, that I am, I meditate upon myself Brahman. Then it's a knowledge that I am Brahman. So pros are different. So this person is asking, Jiva Chair Brahma Svahada Uttav, if this passage is interpreted as saying that Jiva is already Brahman, Tattimas, then this is similar to Brahma and the Mahavakya. Tattamasyala Viva. That means saying that you are already Brahman. Kartrahari, Bhed Buddhi Bade. If I am already Brahman then I cannot be Karta, I cannot be doer. Because I am Nirvaya, I am Nirvikara, so Katam Sapurusha Pata, Kam Ghatayri, Handikam, how can you kill? How can you? So they come to Kartrutva, Kara Yutrutva cannot be. Then upasana, anushtha, then upasana also is a karma. Meditation also is a karma, mental action. And if I am not a karta, I am, I am not a doer, then even that mental action, upasana also, there is nobody to perform because I am already Brahman. So then this upasana, which is a subject matter here itself, will be contradicted. So you are, by this interpretation, you are dismissing the very, you know, the, the theme that is described here. Idhyashankya Nasya Tvam Padarthasya Kartra Adivadena Padartha Shodhana Purokam Brahmatma Uchchade This passage does not say that he realizes himself as Brahman by the process of knowledge. He realizes himself as Brahman by the process of Upasana, Ahangra Upasana. So Kartruptam remains until he realizes that. That's why in, in when is Jiva, he takes himself away, you know, Upasaka, and then he sees himself as Brahman. <coughs> Kintu Anyatra Nirguna Vidyayam Mukto Brahma Sampattihi Upasya Saguna Brahma Upasana Lakshara Anudyate. That in fact, this passage only describes what a wise person, as his of knowledge, accomplishes. Is described only in the context of Saguna because ultimate result is the same. <coughs> Sarupa Sampati ultimately is one way or the other is the same, therefore Anudyate. Sarupa Sampati is establishing one's own nature, Anudyate is only reiterated here. So that is really the result of Narguna Brahma Vedya. In the context of Upasa, it is simply stated here and Anudyate. So this is an anuvada. This one is anuvada or reiteration of the result of the knowledge of Nirguna Brahma and therefore there is no intention of dismissing the very upasana, otherwise upasana itself will be dismissed. <coughs> so it is true that this passage describes the state of a wise person who realizes himself as Brahman. That's the anuvada. So what would be the result of Nirguna Brahma Vidya? 
he is reiterated here in the context also of Saguna Brahma. So we have to take this as Anuvada and not literally as far as the Upasana is concerned. Nasa Yetavada Kartarari Badaha Padada Shodhana Adhinatva Tasya. And so just because you reiterate the result does not mean that there is a bada of the, of the refutal or dismissal of the kartrutvam because that kartrutvam goes away only when you really ask this question, who am I? The thing is, in Upasana, he doesn't say, who am I? In Upasana, he says, I am Brahman, I am Brahman, it's one thing. As far as Vichara is concerned, the teacher, the Shruti leads him to see who really you are by analyzing this present notion that I am the body, I am the mind and so Savayesha Purusha Andarasamaya Pramaya Manomaya Vijnanamaya Anandamaya Brahma Pucham Pratishtha So this process is called the Tvampada Shodhanam So he realized himself at stage by stage that I am body, I am prana, I am mind, I am intellect, I am Ananda, I am Brahma so therefore, that, that is what will bring about the bhadra or the negation of kartrutva, which is a notion. This is not that process. Here is assertion, I am Brahman, I am Brahman, I am Brahman. So kartrutva remains until he realizes himself as Brahman. Until then it remains. So yet Swarup, so now we go proceed with Bhashya further. If you look at Ayana Nagiri in the line number 13, Esha Atmayati Hova Chaitri Esha Shabda Atmaha So if you look at the passage, so Svena Rupena Abhinishpadyate Esha Atmayati Hova Chaitri Again, this is Atma. So the teacher reminds him, Esha Atmayati Hova Chaitri What is Esha Atma? So this is the Self. What do you mean by this? So Bhashyakara says, Esha, Esha means this. So what's the meaning word this is what Bhashyagara explains. Yet Swamiti. So in the second line. So Asharitahi Atma Swarupam. That Vakya is complete. Then the next Vakya being you should have a comma there. Then it says Yet Swam Param Jyoti Swarupam. Apadyade Sun Prasadha Esha Atma Iti Hovacha Esha means this. Now what is this? So this is a, is a, a pronoun. So Bhashyakara should explain what is the meaning of Esha. Bhashyakara said Yet, yet, Swam so Param Jyoti Upasampadya Yet Param Jyoti Swarupam Apadyade Param Jyoti Upasampadya, having reached the self, the consciousness, which is one's own nature, one becomes established in one's own nature. So then, Param Jyoti, consciousness, he is his own nature. So, yet Param Jyotam Param Jyoti Upasarupam Apadyate. So, Bhashyakara mixed, combined both of them. So, Param Jyoti Upasampadya, Sved Rupena Abhinishpadyate, means what? Param Jyoti Swarupam Apadhyate. You understand what Bhashyaka has done here is, the text is Param Jyoti Upasam, there are the two steps are there. Param Jyoti Upasampadhyaya, having reached the Supreme Consciousness, Svena Rupena Abhinishpadhyate, he becomes established in his own nature. So Bhashyaka says, yes, swam, swam, swam Param Jyoti Swarupam Apadhyate, meaning that he attains his own nature as the Supreme Consciousness. Both of them are one. So, Param Jyoti is Svena Rupena. <coughs> who? Samprasada. Who does this? Is a Samprasada. The Samprasada, wise person. So, the wise person, that Supreme Consciousness, the wise person realizes his own self. Is Atma. That is the self. Iti ho vacha. This is what he said. Now 
No, who I said, it is, that's what he said. Now, who says Upanishad says? Now, who is he? Who has said this? So, says the Tika, the both of them say, Ko aso ukti karta hai ki akanksha. Who said it? Ko aso ukti karta. Who is the one who said it? On the other Tika Gaya says in line 36, No, no, Sudhi kartru ke vakke, ucha uvache di, parokta vachanam, ayukta vidyashankya. But this is all Sudhi saying. Then Sudhi says, he said. How can Sudhi say, he said, Sudhi is itself saying it. How can he say, he said. Says, so na, idam Sudhi vakyam, kintu shishyam pradi, achar yukti anuvada. So Sudhi is reporting here. What the Acharya is telling the disciples. Iti ho vacha. So that iti. So esha atma iti ho vacha. Up to this point is the vakya of the Acharya towards his disciples. So this is a dialogue going on between Acharya and the disciples. <coughs> which Shruti is reporting to us. And this is the conclusion of that dialogue. So, conclusion of. So, <coughs> so Bhashyagara clarifies. Says Bhashya. Sambruyat iti yaha shutya niyutta hai ante vasibhya So to go back, go back to the earlier passages. See page 348. Before that, 347 Acharya said, the first passage, Athayidam Asmin Brahmapure, Dharam Pundarikam Veshma, etc., is all said. And then, Tam Chet Bruyu, then if the disciples ask, they, the heart itself is so small, and the space within that is even smaller. What can be there within the space we meditated upon? And then the teacher said, that space is as vast as the space outside. Okay. Then again the disciples raised the question, Tam Chet Bruyu. In this Brahmapura, there is this lotus of the heart in which this Dharakasa is there. But if this, the body, Brahmapuri, becomes old or it is, it is destroyed, what happens to that Dharakasa? So nothing happens. So this is what the teacher has been telling them. Same dialogue is going on, I guess. That's what you would imagine, you know. Sabruya. And so the teacher alone is saying all these passages to his disciples. And that dialogue concludes here. Sa ho vacha That's also sa bruya dadi ya shrutya sa bruya. The teacher should reply the disciples like this. So Shruti said, hey, you reply. So the person who was told you reply is the person who is sowing, saying so far. Ante vasibhya. So the teacher who was describing this to his disciples. So he concluded his statement here. <clears throat> so Shishyantari Acharya Yukti Anuvada. All of this is Anuvada. Shruti is only restating what the Acharya has been telling his disciples. <clears throat> All right, now we can go further. So with that, so what's the next one? Says, etad amrutam abhayam etad brahma yeti. Etad amrutam abhayam etad brahma yeti. Who says that? Now the Shruti should say. Because Acharya is completed, I guess, you know. So says Anandagiri. Na kevalam atmatpayama prakrutasya jyotishah esha atma that param jyotihi is atma that param jyotihi esha atma supreme consciousness is atma na kevalam atmatpayama prakrutasya jyotishah that param jyoti is not only atma but it is something more kindu rupantaram rupantaratpam asthitya it is not only Atmatvam, but that Param Jyoti is something more also. And there we have to understand that Etad Brahma, Etad Amrutam, 
एतद् मुनिद एतद् परम ज्योतिः हि समृतम् परम ज्योतिः अभयम् परम ज्योतिः ब्रह्म दट दट एतद् रिफर्स टू परम ज्योतिः एष आत्मा दट परम ज्योतिः इज आत्मा एंड फर्दर इट इज अमृतम अभयम ब्रह्म इज सो मास्टर का ऐसे इस किंचे एतद् अमृतम अविनाशे भूमा योगय भूमा तदमृतम इत्युक्तम ये तो अमृतम the supreme consciousness is immortal what is immortal अविनाशी because there is no मृत्यु अमृतम means where which is free from death अमृतम is not some ambrosia अमृतम means what so which is अविनाशी free from death so where do you get that interpretation you वही भूमा तो अमृतम ही युक्तम so earlier section say seven chapter you वही भूमा तो ये भूमा तो ये अमृतम so when उपनिषद से ये तो अमृतम that परम ज्योति भूमा that परम ज्योति which is one's own self is immortal is भूमा means अविनाशी it is indestructible So, Avinashi to Hetu Maha, Bhuma it is. So, Avinashi means, why is it Avinashi? Because it is Bhuma. Yovai Bhuma, Tadamrutam, Iti Uptam. Same thing, Tika Gara said, Amrutatve, Aparikshinnatam, Hetu Vedi, Shruti Yuktya Ahai. Yovai, so, it is immortal Amrutam because Avinashi or Aparikshinnam, it is vast or it is limitless, Anantam. Then further, so tathavi kadam avinashitna yo ebhuma tadamrutam iti uktam iti. Okay, so iti shabda hetvarta iti uktam because it has been said this way. Yasmaan yathokta laksham brahma tasmaa then further. Atah eva abhayam भूमना द्वितीय अभावात अतः ये वह हम दैर्घ्य दिस परम ज्योति ही आत्मा इस अमृतम इम्मार्टल अविनाशी आल्सो अभयम इट इस फियरनेस व्हाई बिकॉज़ इस भूमा व्हाट इस भूमा भूमना द्वितीय अभावात बिकॉज़ भूमा इस एक एमिवाद द्वितीयम भूमा इस सत इस नॉन ड्यूअल फियर कैन बी देयर ओनली मेंड there is no duality, therefore, there is no fear, therefore, this Supreme Consciousness, which is Atma, which is immortal, also is Amrutam fearless. <coughs> Look at the other Tika. Yatra nanyat pasyadi, nanyat shronadi, nanyat vijanayadi, bhumna, trivita parichyad abhavakte, Avinashi is being explained. Yatra nanyat pasyadi, where one does not see the other. Nanyat shronadi, where one does not hear the other. Nanyat vijanadi, where one does not know the other. Meaning the otherness is not there. That where the other is gone. That's the idea. Therefore, vinasa heto dvityasya bhavad. The other can cause my vinasa. So who can cause my vinasha? If the question of vinasha or the death or destruction is there, I cannot call destruction to myself. For my destruction, somebody else is required. And of course somebody else also required, at the same time somebody animical, but the idea is somebody else is required. And today the fellow is friend also can become an enemy, meaning that somebody else can possibly cause my destruction. So there can be fear from that. But there is somebody else is denied by Upanishad by saying what is Bhuma? Yatra nanyat pasyadi, where one does not see the other, does not hear the other, does not know the other, where the other is not there. And there was vinasa heto dvitiyasya bhavat, that otherness itself is denied and that other could cause vinasa, so cause of vinasa is not there. There were, there is no now, 
No question of fear. So the question is, somebody else may not cause Vinash, but you may die yourself, suppose. The thing is, suppose you are perishable, then also you will be afraid that I am going to die. Says, then Hetuka, Vinasasya, Kshanavadi, Nirakarana, Nirakaratvad. That's what Kshanavadi says. This idea of momentary consciousness. That consciousness gets destroyed every moment, and new consciousness arises. Destroys, are why? That's the nature. So it says, Nil Hetu Kavinasha, you know? That consciousness is momentary. Every moment this consciousness dies, the new one arises. This one goes, why? That's the nature. So Nil Hetu Kavinasha, consciousness gets destroyed for no reason. So that we can't accept it. If there is distraction, there must be reason. And the reason must be only second one. As far as consciousness comes, there is no second because what is this consciousness? What is this water? Even the ocean, there may be a number of waves, countless waves may be there. Those waves do not really cause duality because what is this water? So if a wave comes to recognize that I am water, then it becomes free from all fear because the other wave also is water. So water doesn't have to be afraid of water. And water being water remains water. It cannot become unwater, you know, by itself, because that's the nature. So nature cannot get destroyed. If consciousness is the nature of the self, nature cannot get destroyed. That's called nature. And so fire is hot, it is hot, it remains hot. Therefore, to say that the self is consciousness and then to say that consciousness gets destroyed without a reason doesn't make sense because if it gets destroyed, it cannot be nature. So, nir hetu kavinasasya kshanavada era. So, we have dismissed the kshanavada elsewhere. The idea of momentary consciousness has been refuted. And what is momentary consciousness? Nir hetu kavinasasya. The destruction without any reason or so by dismissing Shravada, the Nirhetu Kavinasha also is dismissed. So somebody else is not there to destroy me and I cannot be indestructible because my nature is consciousness. Therefore, Bhavati Aparichinnatam Hetu Hiti Bhavaha. Therefore, as far as the fearlessness is concerned, Aparichinnatam Anandatam Bhumatvam is a reason for fearlessness. <coughs> then Parichya Ahadeva Nirupadi Mahatvam Brahmatvam Vidyaha. Okay, then therefore, that being the case, Etad Brahma Ede. So, Parichya Ahadeva Bhuma means what? Abundant. Anand, limitless, boundless. So there is no paricheda, no desh paricheda, kal paricheda, vastu paricheda because advitya. So vastu paricheda is not there. Therefore, nirupadika mahatparupam. So mahatpam, people have greatness. But then greatness generally is of the upadi. I am great because I am very strong, you know, I, I knocked out that other boxer, you know, I am strong. That is upadi. The mahatvam of greatness is because of the body, because of my mental capacity, some miracles are there, or my intellectual capacity, etc. But that is all mahatvam that comes to a person because of upadi. Bhuma is not mahat because of something as sway mahimni pradishtita. Yadva na mahimni iti. And then his mahima is on its own self, not because of anything else. Therefore, nurupadi ka mahatvarupam. Bhuma is great for no reason, not because of anything. Therefore, it is Brahma. So, even Brahma is. What is Brahma? Nirupadika Mahatmam, greatness. You know, Mahatma means Brahma is, which is unconditionally great, unconditionally boundless. <coughs> okay, we will continue tomorrow. <coughs> so, now the topic changes. Well, let us complete that, uh, what the Electrikakara says. Yad Yapi, Vyavhara Drishtim Arabhya, Upasana Pravrti. Anyatha, so this 
If you are Brahman, where is the question of meditation? Who will? The question is always asked. You say, I am Brahman, who will worship whom? Who should I do puja to? Yet they be, so Vyavahar Drishti Maharaj. Not Paramahati Drishti. You are Brahman from the Paramahati Drishti. What is your Drishti right now? I am a Jeeva. So Upasana is prescribed, taking from accepting what you see yourself as. So Vyavahar Drishti Maharaj, Upasana Prabhati. So this, this whole process of upasana or meditation or becoming is accepting my present understanding of perception of myself. Anyasa bhera bhavena tadayoga. If I already know I am Brahman, the question of meditation is not there. Becoming Brahman is not there. So upasana is becoming Brahman, it cannot be there. Tatra nadvityatvam, as far as upasaka is concerned, the non-duality, Maybe only theoretical, but not a matter of a reality for him. Tathabi paramasa drishti as drishti asrem advitiyatam vastutvena upasa stutyatam uchyadeli shesha. And still, this passage talks about the paramasa vastu. Eta dhamrutam abhem eta brahma. So, if you already there, the very question upasana. So, tathabi paramasa drishti asrem advitiyatam. So, not Vyavahar Dushti Asam, Paramatha Dushti Asam Advaitiyatam, the non-duality is there from the ultimate standpoint, is accepted. Vastutvena Upas is said here for only praising the Upas, praising Saguna Brahma. The ultimate it is Nirguna Brahman. So, Upas is Tutyartham for extolling the object of meditation or object of worship. <coughs> okay, all right. Om Purnamadaf Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyade Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamivavashishyade Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Vadarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutavande Bhagavanta Unaf Punaha Ishvaro Guru Ratme De Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari O Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om